All right, thank you, Crystal. We are out here on the Two Casa patio. Beautiful start to the morning. Uh, it's a great day to go out to the ABQ Biopark Botanic Gardens. And uh, sitting here is Dave Ferguson, associate curator of the, the Biopark Botanic Gardens, and some very prickly friends here, yeah. the cacti. So, Dave, good to see you this morning. So, cactus, uh, these, these sprout all over the place. We have plenty in our yard. Um, what are some of the most common types that we have in, in New Mexico? Well, um we have about maybe 90 species in this that grow naturally in the state and a good percentage of them are prickly pears the ones with the flat rounded these guys right yeah here. okay well, yeah, okay a lot of them are a lot bigger and spinier than that right and and so what about some of these other guys I mean, this one i've never well, seen before so but very familiar with these uh and unfortunately i think i've fallen on a, a couple in my <laughs> lifetime so what about these species well uh this is a, a baby barrel cactus those will get actually pretty good size um, they grow mostly south of here um, this one's a little pin cushion there's lots of little tiny cactuses and pin cushion's just a common name for several that look similar this one's actually in a, a rare one that grows down near Carlsbad um, it's called Escobaria lei and then hedgehog cactuses they tend to be ribbed and have elongate stems mm -hmm. this is a little one of those okay um, and that's another little barrel cactus. Uh, a lot of people call that a fish hook cactus because if you look at the ends of the spines, though. Yeah. Like that, yeah, and that's the one that stays with you, yeah. unfortunately. So which one of these will grow best? If we want to plant some in our backyards, our front yards, what is our best option? Well, probably the easiest are to plant um, prickly pears or choyas. Mm -hmm. um, they grow fairly rapidly. They get moderately large you can actually see them in your yard mm -hmm. the flowers are beautiful on them um, but a lot of these other ones will do just fine in your yard as well um, most of those would rather be in a nice sunny rock garden type situation somewhere where they're nestled between some rocks or up next to a wall or but um, they all need lots of sun. Okay. Now, of course, you know, one of the reasons that they thrive here is because we are a desert. So when it comes to watering, getting them, what's, is there a general rule of thumb depending on the cactus? I mean, is just let mother nature take care of it or is it something we have to maintain? Uh, it, it depends a lot on what you've planted, but for the most part, you have to maintain them a little bit to keep them looking nice. If you just stick them out there and ignore them, sometimes they look pretty rough or they mm -hmm. won't survive. Uh, usually they like to get some extra water when it's hot in the spring and summer. Um, and like I said, lots of sun. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few that grow in southern New Mexico that are kind of iffy in Albuquerque. It's a little too cold. Something like that, if you want to grow it, you might have to cover it up in the winter. But for the most part, you can just put them in the soil that comes naturally here and, mm -hmm. and almost ignore them. Almost, um, almost just yeah, a little bit of attention some of the some of the bigger ones like the prickly pears and choy as you plant them out and get them going you you can pretty much ignore them they'll okay. just survive that's great all right well for more information on this guys we will have links on our website at casa.com